Hello everybody, welcome to a very extremely special edition of The Investing Podcast. This is the first annual Intern Awards. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Large, large studio audience, as well as a number of nominees for a number of awards are here today. We're really excited. This is the first annual Intern Awards. If you know anything about grammar, you know you're not supposed to use the term first annual unless you already have plans for a second inaugural but we learned that lesson when we did our first annual golf tournament in 2012 and it was such a rousing success that we're going to stick with tradition uh 2012 first annual narwhal charity golf tournament still waiting on number two we had a great time with that though and we're gonna have just as much fun here with these intern awards now we're off to a little bit of a rocky start our host intern scotty valiani has bailed so he's not here we're gonna move on without him uh austin tried feebly to come up with a name for the awards this morning, the Emmys with an I, but Austin doesn't even work here anymore, so we're not gonna do that. Not only that, but we actually have replica Oscar trophies to give out, so of course we're not gonna call them the Emmys. Uh, And Matt Burton, the firm's founder and esteemed president, said that he would, quote, rather be fishing in the Bahamas than come to this. So nonetheless, we're here, we're gonna hand out a lot of awards for those watching on YouTube, welcome for those listening to the podcast. You should probably watch it on YouTube because this is going to be awful in your, if you're only absorbing this through your ear holes. So check it out on YouTube. All our stuff's on there. Search Tusk Media. Hit subscribe. However you're watching, we're glad you're here. We're going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, here to present the very first award of the night is wow, the Vice President of Narwhal Capital Management, Mr. Andrew Hall. Hello everybody, welcome. It's my honor to present this award. Uh, visual effects have a unique unique way of affecting us visually. And the nominees for this summer's visual effects awards were able to visually affect us with a lifetime of affectations despite being here only a few short months. The nominees are Joseph Bell for his work on The Investing Podcast and Austin Newsom for his work on The Investing Podcast. Visual effects. So nervous. The winner is Mr. Austin Newsom. Oh wow! Congratulations. He's actually all awesome. done. This is awesome. I'm completely honored. I would probably have to say that if it came if it came down to receiving this award or having Cody Willis there, I'd probably take the award. Uh, he's had some great hair, but this really means a lot. So, thank you. You're welcome. And now to present our second award, a man who is every bit as compliant as he is fashionable, Mr. John Holt. Hello, hello. I'm here to present the award for Best Costume Design. Uh, Costumes are an integral piece of an enormous puzzle making of investing podcast. For the podcaster, it's a piece that makes you feel really different from yourself. Uh, It is the uh, costume's attention to detail that gives us a window into that podcaster and becomes a critical part of the podcast. The winner of this year's award for best costume design has truly been inspiring, courageous, and left us all struck. The nomination or the nominees for this year's award are Austin Newsom and Joseph Bell. I'm so nervous too. Shout out to mom. She hooks me up every morning, helps me with my color design. Um, I also want to give this uh, some dedication to Harambe. We talked about him a lot, but his value really can't be understated. And I really wake up every morning and 
put myself together and honor him. So it really means a lot. I'm glad to be recognized for it. Austin Newsom off to a hot, hot start. For those uh, watching right now, we're not live, but go back and you can watch our live tweet at Tusk Media LLC and see some reactions from the crowd, how everything went in real time. I think you guys will really enjoy that. And now to present the award for film editing, a man who loved the investing podcast so much that he picked up his entire life and moved across the country to be a part of it, Mr. Benjamin Nye. The category of film editing is not for the faint of heart. The questions of what scenes to include and which to remove is one only the most discerning eye can identify. When cut, calibrated, and sequenced, the result is a poetic portrait of podcasting perfection. Only the bold dare embark on such a journey, a journey of laughs and Aha. tears. <laughs> To extract from pedantic prose charisma, charm, and Harambe memes that will live on long after they have been fully depreciated. To cull great again American investing advice from a pound of brisket. So somehow, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, to somehow cover up the new guy's stutters and stammers. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the skilled film editor does. And with that, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the nominees for this year's award, Mr. Joseph Bell and Mr. Austin Newsom. The Film Editing Award. My legs are shaking. Film Editing Award um, goes to Mr. Austin Newsom. Congratulations, sir. It wasn't just me. <laughs> um, I'm not the Academy. <laughs> I mean, this is getting a little old. Speech. Speech. I mean, I only had two prepared. Um, that's why you got fired. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so that's it for me. Cinematography. It's a very tough word to say. But now we welcome a man who knows a lot, maybe not about cinematography, but a lot about sin. Mr. Sam Frost. Good afternoon. The world of cinematography is one that requires great skill, imagination, and most importantly, an intern. Contrary to what most of you probably think, Tusk Media would actually still exist without our main cameraman. However, you just wouldn't know about it or have ever seen it. The winner of this year's award exercised great imagination and revolutionized cinematography by using only one camera angle for the entire <laughs> production of our podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> similar to the one that we're currently using right now. <laughs> One day, the award recipient made a courageous move by stepping out of his or her own comfort zone by venturing down the path of Periscope. <laughs> As you all saw, the recipient revolutionized cinematography once more through his unique usage of <laughs> only <laughs> <laughs> made usage of only one camera angle <laughs> on Periscope. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Pull it together, man. <laughs> it's gonna take time out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was one camera angle. <laughs> that one camera angle that was kind of awkwardly low. So it was just looking up underneath the journalist. Something that's never been done before. <laughs> the nominees for most outstanding cinematographer are <laughs> Joseph Bell and Austin Newsom. Oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hope that his speech is better than the last one. Austin Newsome. Thank you, sir. Hey, it may have only been one camera angle, but it damn sure was a good one. And I will say, uh, if you watched our Periscope from yesterday, I tried to mix it up. I tried to zoom a little bit. I tried to rotate behind the camera. That was the day I got fired. So I don't know what else to say, but I tried. Austin, don't don't try. You know, it's not enough for you to do your best. You need to do, you need to do my best uh, moving forward. Obviously, Austin got fired after these awards were already ordered, or else he would not only be going home empty handed, but he would actually have just stay home today. Uh, now to present the final uh, Narwhal Oscar of the evening. A man who needs no support here to present the award for best supporting actor, the unit, Matthew Krebsbach. Hold the applause, please. <laughs> You're welcome. In this business, oftentimes lead roles are appreciated for the performance. Only lead roles are appreciated for the performance. Likewise, like the offensive line to a great quarterback, play performance is not without unmatched chemistry and determination. From answering the phones and changing the oil in my car, the intern has become a crucial part of Narwhal. This is especially true ever since Andrew moved from an intern to full time. I get it. Taking shots up here. <laughs> With this being said, I am grateful to announce the nominees for supporting actor are Austin Newsom and Jose Bell. <laughs> Unreal, Austin Newsome. <laughs> I don't even know what these mean anymore, probably nothing. But um, this does go out to Andrew though. I mean, just to get a little serious, he definitely helped me uh, step into my zone here. So any success that I have on this camera is definitely due to him. So if this means anything, I meant that. But thank you. Everything, everything here means something, um, and I think this last final award will, will really cement that home. Um, I have some prepared notes, pardon me, for reading off a sheet of paper. Michelle Obama once said that we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievement is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. And Melania Trump once said, we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. Poignant. I think the namesake for this award would agree with both sentiments, but I think that he would add that bullets from the gun of a power-thirsty CIA-funded zookeeper can also limit your achievements. Harambe was born on May 27, 1999 at the Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Texas. He was named after the Rita Marley song, entitled Harambe, open parentheses, working together for freedom, close parentheses. And for 17 years and one day, that's exactly what he did. He fought for freedom. But on May 28, 2016, a three-year-old terrorist <laughs> fell into the moat at Harambe's Gorilla World habitat at the Cincinnati Zoo. Those familiar with the situation maintain that what happened next is unknown, but the corrupt mainstream media groveling at the feet of an overextended government will tell you that he tried to kill that terrorist, I mean that three-year-old little boy. His life was taken shortly. Harambe was gone too soon, as will be the recipient of the Harambe Memorial Gone Too Soon Award, Mr. Joseph Bell. <laughs> this, uh, I can say that I know what Leonardo DiCaprio feels like after this day to wait so long for my moment and I, I think uh, to use a, uh, a podcasting buzzword it's a great segue into a staple segment of mine that I've 
gone through with throughout the show, throughout my time here at Tusk Media, a little little segment I like to call pet talk. Um, guys, if you're out there struggling through the work week, you got to get out of bed every morning. You got to say, hey, I'm doing this for a good cause. Harambe would be proud. So keep fighting out there. And for the awesome Newsoms of the world who keep stealing <laughs> your spot in the limelight, <laughs> you got to work hard. You got to work hard and you got to secure your spot. And this means so much. I've got so many people to thank. And I would be remiss not to follow in the footsteps of the one and only Leonardo DiCaprio and talk a little bit about climate change. <laughs> uh, climate change is real, guys. It is. It's real. It's, it's threatening our planet. It's threatening lovable gorillas like Harambe. So do whatever you need to do um, to fix that and make Harambe proud. Uh, thank you to the Academy. And I think they're playing music now. I think I need to, to get off the stage. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, God. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's hear it for those interns. Great interns this summer. Uh, two really great interns. Scotty Valiani, not so much. Uh, not here. Um, thanks, everybody, for being here all summer. Sincere thank you for real to the interns. Obviously, none of this should be taken seriously, but they really did do a great job. Um, we would gladly hire them full time, you know, if they were out of school. Um, but we're we're glad to have those guys. Thanks for being here. It's a tribe leave five star review. We'll read it on the air. Thanks to all the presenters today and everybody out there listening. Have a great day.